Hey guys, welcome to my channel. What was that? What was that? And if you're a returning friend, I hope you're having a great day. So in today's video, I am going to be doing the makeup lovers tag. Before we do get started, please subscribe to my channel for makeup and lifestyle. I will put my socials right here. I do have an Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And don't forget to click the post notification bell just to be notified when I do upload a video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay guys, so I'm going to be doing the makeup lovers tag. I was tagged by a fellow beauty YouTuber and friend. Her name is Laura Christina. She also does makeup she is an artist she's an artist her art just with doing makeup is so intricate and it's so complex but she makes it look so easy and she's a very inspirational uh so if you guys haven't checked her out already please do so go follow her on instagram go subscribe to her channel because if not you guys are missing out i will link her video and her socials down below in the description box so let's go ahead and get into the questions so the first question is how do you prepare for videos and how many times a week slash month do you film oh, i literally have to like mentally prepare for my videos most of the time if i know that I'm going to be filming, I will usually just get everything ready an hour to an hour and a half before. I'll get all the lighting ready that's right behind you guys, get my camera ready, get the computer ready with the microphone and everything that I need in my video. I'm not that type of person to just have everything in a whole bunch of different spots and just kind of like go from there. I need to have everything ready and set before I start filming because if I don't, I get really anxious. I think it's because my sisters used to steal my clothes all the time and I never knew where anything was at, so thanks, sissies. And then how many times a week or month do you film? So I only post two days a week, so I have about like 10 to 11 to 12 videos a month. So what I'll do every week is I will try to bust out like three videos in one day. Sometimes I'll film four or five times a week. Sometimes I will only film two times a week or three times a week, but I try to get ahead by at least like two or three videos. Number two, how long does it take you to record slash edit? So it takes me about like an hour to an hour and a half max to film a video, a makeup video. If it is a talking video, like one right now, hopefully it's not that long. It probably takes me about two hours to do because like I've said, and for people who know me, I just don't know when to shut the f up. Like I just keep talking and talking and I repeat myself so much. If you guys knew how many times I repeat myself, you would be annoyed. I have to edit all that out. I say, um a lot i say you guys i say just i say so it's just point made how long does it take me to edit so for makeup videos for me it's really easy because i've been doing it for over a year now after you add the music you have to listen through after you have turned the music down to match the volume of you talking or not there's just a whole, there's a whole bunch. But with that being said, I would probably say for a makeup video, it takes me about three hours to edit a full video, which to some it may seem like a lot, but I am a perfectionist when it comes to my videos. I will watch my videos seven times if I have to to make sure that it is good enough for me. If someone is talking in a video and you're you're talking at one level and then all of a sudden your music is at this level and you're like, holy shit, like that's so loud. You have to make sure that those levels are almost the same. So you have to go through and watch your videos a few times and that's what I do. So a talking video, if I want to add pictures in it, if I want to add music, sound effects, all that stuff, it probably takes me a good like six hours to edit a video perfectly. It sounds like a lot, but it actually goes by really fast. Number three, what is your favorite drugstore and high-end brand? My favorite drugstore brand, e.l.f. I love their foundation. I love their primer. I love their eyeshadow palettes. I love their lip products. And then for my higher end, I would 100% say Charlotte Tilbury. I do not have a lot of her products. I do have some of her lip products. I do have her blushes and bronzes and highlights and stuff like that. Not only is the product amazing, the packaging is an experience from the concealer to the compacts. I mean, I have a couple of compacts here and then, I mean, just look at that. It is so pretty. It may look like super mature, but I don't care. This stuff is like, it feels luxurious. Look at that height. <laughs> look at that. It's just so nice. 
I just feel fancy. Number four, what is your most expensive beauty product? My most expensive beauty product is, in fact, what I had just shown you guys, the bronzer and highlighter duo set by Charlotte Tilbury. This is $68. Now, I know you guys are saying, oh, what the fuck, Amanda, that is disgusting. Yeah, it kind of is. But like I said, the experience and how this product feels is just quality. I was actually going to say that the next, because I really thought that this other product that I'm going to show you here was the most expensive. I just got this. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. This is $60. The Charlotte Tilbury one is more expensive at $8. Number five, what motivates you to create content? Number one motivation is my kids. I don't know if you guys would understand if you guys are parents, but every time that my son sees that I have a video that's live, he's like, oh my god, mommy, that's so cool. Your video just went live. People are commenting. People are liking. He'll usually ask where my subscriber count is at because he is very familiar with YouTube. Every time that I tell him, you just tell how proud he is of me and I just want to let my kids know that they can do this too. If mommy can do it, then you can do it. You can succeed in anything that you put your mind to, but you also have to work really hard for it. It is not just gonna come to you. You have to do the work, unless you're like people who go viral in like three videos. Then I would also have to say that people on YouTube motivate me to do this as well. When people are happy with what they see with the content that I put out, that I work so hard to put out, it makes me feel really good. I am I'm a people pleaser, like I've just always been that way. But if I can help someone figure out what type of product they want or that they want to try, or if I'm able to sell them a product without them having to go into the store, I think that that's a win for me. If I'm able to make someone just feel good or even just to make them laugh for half of a second, that's a win in my book. Let's see here, number six. What is your favorite app to edit your pictures? I don't use that one or that one very often, but I do use Facetune, uh, the Facetune free version. Seven, what is your goal for this year regarding your YouTube channel? <sighs> Let's see here. My goal obviously is to get to a higher subscriber count, but I just really want to make people happy, really want people to like my content. I'm going to get haters out there. I already have them, um, but that's fine. That's not, it's not a me problem. It's a them problem. I always say that, but just to make people happy, have a commonality. That's it. Now, if I could get a brand deal, that would be awesome too. What influencers do you watch slash follow for inspiration? Robert Welsh, he has been on YouTube for what, like seven years, maybe even longer. He's a makeup artist in real life and I appreciate all of the techniques that he shows us. And he also shows us how to do something correctly, the knowledge that he does share with everyone. And I do also love his ghost stories on Monday or something like that. He reads ghost stories that his subscribers send to him while he's doing his makeup. His makeup is loosely based on some type of horror character or something. Number nine, besides makeup, what else are you passionate about? Out. You guys, I'm really passionate about makeup. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know why. I thought of my husband and started laughing. I am extremely passionate about astrology. Not just like, oh, I'm an Aries, that's it. No, like I know what my big three is. I have looked at my chart so many times. I have looked at what retrogrades. I have looked at all my different houses. I'm still learning about degrees and aspects in my chart. I'm also still learning about why the houses are bigger and why some of the houses are smaller than the other. Something that I can go on and on and on about. I have turned so many Capricorns and Capricorn moons and risings into astrology. They're just like more solid evidence type people. I mean, I guess I just know how to sell it. Yeah, it's just, it's so interesting to learn about your chart and you. And if you wanna learn more about you, that is definitely the way to go. So yes, I'm very passionate about astrology. And number 10, what is one makeup trend you disliked? I can think about trends from back in the day, didn't like at all. I don't even think I tried it with my friends that had worn it, was white eyeliner. So legit like a pencil, like a pencil eyeliner. And they would line the top part of their eyes. They would just do a line, no wing, no nothing. They would line it and then they would put it underneath here as well. And it's just something that I just did not like. It didn't look good. Half of the time no one was wearing mascara, so just, look like you were sick. Number 11, if you had the opportunity 
to collaborate with one brand, which brand would it be and what would you create? The Anastasia Beverly Hills, because I do love their products, their quality, their packaging is always beautiful. It's just it. But I would also say I would kind of go old school a little bit, even though I'm sure a lot of people are like, why, like why, I mean, why? I would go with Mac. Like Mac was huge back in the day. I would love to have a collection with them. Like Patrick Starr had a collection with them and a whole bunch of other people had collections with them. When I worked retail, every time that I would walk by the Mac counter, or I'd walk by just through the makeup area and you know how they would have those pictures, those posters or signs of just women modeling. I was like, that'd be so cool to be in one of those one of these days. And I'm hoping that that will happen, but um, I don't know, we'll see. Number 12, who slash what inspired you to start a YouTube channel? Who? there are a lot of people that I have watched throughout the years that have inspired me to start a YouTube channel. I mean, Tati, Jacqueline, Hill, Manny, MUA, Carly Bible, Amanda Enzine, Pixie Wu, Raw Beauty Christie. Anytime that you see someone that's from your home state work at the same store that you worked at, even though it wasn't the same store number, or just lived in the same area, you always think like, man, can I do that? My thought process is if they can do it, so can I. For what inspired me, honestly, you guys, when we moved to Boston, I was like, if I can move away from my family, I can do anything. If I'm able to survive without my family, I can legit do anything. And I, you know, just became a stay-at-home mom. I wasn't gonna be working. And I said, I have the time now, so why not? I'm not getting any younger, I may as well. That fire got lit under my ass and I was like super gung-ho about it and I'm still super gung-ho about it. Love what I do. Number 13, what beauty products do you use on a daily basis? So on a daily basis, you guys, I literally I never have a full face on a regular basis. On a regular basis, being a stay-at-home mom, I wash my face, I use a toner, I use an eye cream, and moisturize my face, and then I'll spot if I have eczema on my face, and that is it. Even if I were to go out to the grocery store, I don't wear any makeup. Number 14, if you could only use three beauty products for the rest of your life, what would they be? I know for sure that the first one would be lip gloss, 100% lip gloss, because lip gloss can look really cute, but it'll also keep your lips moisturized. Moisturizer for my face, cause my face is just, it's always dry after I wash it with anything. And then I would say mascara. Number 15, tag three beauty gurus. I'm going to tag Nyla Allure. She's my girl and she's also starting a business. So go check her out as well. Ashley Britton Aceves, Aceves, Aceves. I don't know, girl, I'm sorry if I'm butchering it. All I know is that her name is Ashley, but that's not her full name. I just learned that about her. And the third person that I'm gonna choose is Hey Jess. You guys are not obligated to do this at all. It is, it's just a fun tag and I've already tagged a lot of other people and I'm sure they're really annoyed with it. All right, guys, so that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.